Welcome to this video. Here right now we are in a selection screen of an SAP query and look at this. If I execute the selection then we can see three different columns and basically they have different colors so they have a different color output and in this video I would like to show you how you can do this so who how you can change the color within the columns in the output yeah enjoy this video and let's get started so first of all you have to open up the transaction code sq01 to maintain your sap query so um, first of all you have to select your user group if your user group is not yet selected then you can change with this button to your user group and then you have to select in this list your sap query or you can type it in menu then you go into the change mode to the basic list and here basically the magic happens here right now within the toolbox there you can beautify the columns in the output and yeah the user experience is not the best honestly but you can drag and drop the color um, to your column that you would like to change so for example if you would like to show the column created by for example as a yeah a blue um with a blue background then here in the left area there you have some frame a blue frame and when you hover over this frame then your cursor will change to this cross and when it has this cross then you drag and drop this information to the shown values. So once again here you click, you drag, then you move it to the value and then you drop it. So for example, if you would have this uh, right not as a cross, then you can't drag and drop it. You have to be really careful to have this, this frame over there. And if you, for example, would like to change the other colors as well, then you can do exactly the same uh, within here. You have also the option if you yeah, click on one value, then here in the top left and the bottom left area there, you have the detailed information about this field. And then within here in the drop down to list field color, there you can change the information as well so you don't have to drag and drop it to the information you can just simply click on this information and then after changing the information you have to click on apply and if you would like to reset this then you can click to this and then you can also select normal once again within the toolbox you have also the ability to to uh, yeah to add a separator to insert a line and so on if these kind of information are not shown then you can click on this button all tools on off so here right now the tools are not shown are off and here they are shown once again yeah and basically when you save your changes and then after running your sap query then you can see the outcome. So now here you can see the outcome that you have yeah, beautified the outcome that you have put more colors into the column. And this is really helpful, especially for yeah, some, some visual effects to directly see uh, on what kind of columns should be set the focus. Yeah, and thank you very much. If you like this video, hit the like button, add a comment if you have any questions left and do not forget forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.